accompany Harvest and Grows Epithelial Cells for Cystic Fibrosis Research. A lab tech observes that a culture of 15,000 cells grows to 480,000 cells in five days. We need to write a model of the form P of T equals P sub zero E to the KT that represents the number of cells P of T in T days. Round K to five decimal places. Then use a model to determine the number of cells in 10 days and based on the model, in how many days will there be 1 million cells? But the first thing we need to focus on is getting the model. The model requires us to know a beginning value, an ending value, and a time that it took to get that change. And we have that. We know that we started with 15,000 cells, it grew to 480,000 cells, and the time was five days. So in our model, P of T is equal to P sub zero E to the KT. We're going to replace P of T, which is our ending amount, with 480,000. That's equal to our initial value of 15,000 times E to the K. We don't know, but the time is five days. To solve for K, we first divide each side by 15,000. Four hundred eighty thousand divided by fifteen thousand is thirty two, and that's equal to e to the five k. So to solve for the exponent, we can take the natural log of each side. So the natural log of thirty two is equal to the natural log of e to the five k. We get the natural log of thirty two is equal to five k. So divide each side by 5. The natural log of 32 divided by 5 is our value of k. And we will approximate that to five decimal places, which is 0 0.69315 is equal to k, approximately equal to. So understand that represents a 69.32% growth rate. Now our model, which we haven't yet written, let me write that now. So our model is P of T is equal to our initial value, which is 15,000 times E to the K 0.69315T. So now part B says to use a model to determine the number of cells in 10 days. So 10 days is our time, so P of 10 is equal to 15,000 times E to the 0 0.69315 times 10. And we can use our calculator to get that this is going to be 15,360,433. And that's the number of cells in 10 days. Then, part C says, based on the model, in how many days will there be 1 million cells? So this is an ending amount, and we need to find T. So we're using our model, P of T is equal to 15,000 times E to the 0 0.69315 T, and we're going to set P of T equal to 1 million. So 1 million equals 15,000 times e to the 0.69315t. We can divide each side by 15,000. And on the left, when we simplify that fraction, we actually get 200 divided by 3 is equal to e to the 0.69315t. And now it looks very similar to the previous problem. We can take the natural log of each side. And the natural log of e to the 0.69315t is just going to be 
0.69315t. Then dividing each side by that coefficient, 0.69315, gives us that t is approximately 6.06. So this is in approximately six days, there would be one million cells.